So how's your day going? Um, so this is I, I'm, I'm sub to the Netflix uh, YouTube channel, and I I came I saw this once. You know they tend to have good things, but lately they've been having some not my type of things. Um, usually teen dramas and stuff. That's not me. Um, uh, I've been I do meaning to get their Lock and Key one um, TV show. Uh, check that out at some point, uh, whenever I have time, probably on a Sunday. Um, you know, the thing about this movie to keep in mind is I am not a big fan of Mark Wahlberg. Um, he always he always plays the same guy. Um, you know, this kind of over-the-top, badass kind of stereotype and, you know, kind of... Um, smart ass kind of thing um the i believe the last movie that i actually liked him in was in shooter um i did like him in this i will say that i think he did you know a good job for what who he is for his acting um sorry uh where was i yeah, I mean, for his acting in this, he did a, you know, a, a decent job. Um, you know, a good job. It was, it wasn't, you know, over the top or anything. I think him and the big black guy, which I think is a football player, because how big he is. He's like a big muscular guy. He's really tall. Comes off like a football player. And I think you've seen him before. I could be wrong. But the chemistry between him and uh, Mark Wahlberg was actually pretty good. I do wish that they would have had more character to the big black guy, whatever his name is. I'll have his name um, and his, uh, at some point, one of here or here. Um, he had a kind of a comedic aspect to him, but they didn't really expand on that and i wish they would have um the i did not care at all and i this actress in here i don't know her name is but i've seen her before in a movie i don't know what movie though but i just don't care for her acting maybe it's just because i don't like with female boston accents um it tends to uh, just be a turn off to the acting um that's that's just me personally though I, I I just don't like it and you know that's 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 fine I guess um but it doesn't have a lot of action in it I mean it has a, a decent amount of action in it but it's more of a, a, a kind of I wouldn't say thrill, but more of a mystery kind of with mixed in with a little bit of thriller in it. Um, it definitely picks up at a certain point, but then it kind of goes back down kind of slow and uh, then it picks back up. Um, I, I, it's definitely a different movie and I, I don't get me wrong. I actually enjoyed the movie. Um, I probably wouldn't watch it again. Um, would I recommend it? I mean, yeah, it's it's a fun movie. That's that's pretty much what it comes down to. It wasn't it wasn't like bad or anything. It was just very fun, and it looks like there might be a sequel to it. I don't know how because how it ended, it kind of seemed like there was going to be another one made, and it's Netflix, and they tend to come out with good stuff. Um, I know that's more of an opinion when it comes to Netflix of people because I noticed it under in their comments. Um, but for me personally, I always love their stuff and they always do good quality stuff. Um, so, you know, for this, I would definitely give this, I honestly, I would give this four out of five stars. You know, it was, it was a really fun movie. Um, it didn't completely take itself seriously. It did throw in, um, some comedy here and there. The, the comedy wasn't for me, though. Um, it it just didn't stick for me. Uh, I didn't, like, laugh or anything or grin. It was just, you know, eh, they tried to make it fun. So, you know, I'll give them that. And, 
yeah, that's my review. Um, if you have not already, please subscribe and please like the video and comment down below if you have seen this and um, stay positive and have a good day. <laughs>